Guys, I want you to listen to these accolades and accomplishments of one gemstone. Two-time RWC Heavyweight Champion, two-time AIWF World Tag Team Champion, former RWC Tag Team Champion, Junior Heavyweight Champion, Candy Bowl winner, recently had a dark match at the Crockett Cup. Jim Stone is truly what he has been saying for years, the diamond in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what, this is uh, this is my pick here, guys. I'm sorry, I just I, I don't think Flex has it in him. Jim Stone has that killer instinct, as we've clearly seen it, and I think that's what's going to get him the victory here. Well, we all know that F Code Name Flex was the one dragging Jim Stone down on the tag team. Absolutely. So absolutely. You know, we all know Jim Stone is the man. Jim Stone is the one that led them to the tag team championships. Absolutely, Jim Stone won the tag team championships by himself. And I mean, think th think about this. Kone Flex runs around telling everybody that Jim Stone betrayed him. What about at the Golden Opportunity Rumble when Kone Flex threw Jim Stone out of the ring over the top rope? But what I'm saying is, I, I look at it like this, right? You, last night, Kone Flex had the opportunity to win the RWC heavyweight title. You know, everybody's Jim been Stone, talking about that. Jim Stone put it in his hands. You know, that, that gets the million dollar question. Everybody has been talking, why would you not take the win? But nobody ever said Cole Name Fleck was a smart guy. Well, uh, but you know I what, guys? I gotta say though. I, I mean, he is he is, a, he is an army fella. I will say though, I disagree with you guys. I don't think he, that Jim, I'm gonna say, I will say this. I, I'm picking Jim to win, but I think Flex was a very good teammate for him. And that he did, you know, they made a good team. I just think that wait, they- Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Cole Name Fleck! He's I don't know when. What is he doing? Say this is what I'm talking about. What a coward. Coward. What a coward. Attack a man while Jim, he's from Jim, behind. Turn around, Jim. Turn around, Jim. And call oh, it a crossbody. Oh, big crossbody. Oh, big close on my throat. They flex. Another big back elbow. I haven't even heard a bell ring yet. And a back body draw. Oh, my goodness. But he jumped. You, you approve of this height? A back jumper? You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Oh my goodness! I, I understand the tactic though. You know, being former, being, being oh, military smart. myself. Smart though by Jim Stone, rolling out of that ring. Being military myself, I understand the tactic behind that. I say I saw Code Name Flex yesterday after the show, and he was not happy. He was tearing things up in the back trying to find Jim Stone. That was all that noise when I left. Yeah, when you left. Yep. Oh. But you know something? Got to. Oh man, they're fighting all over this. Why is the host Ray doing something about this? I don't know, say. Ref's got to take control of this. Has the bell even rang yet? I, don't I haven't even heard a bell ring yet. So. I haven't even heard a bell ring. This, this, this match shouldn't even be going on. The bell hasn't rang. The, 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 the. That just lets you know how important this match is to Flex or how just, just getting his hands on, on Jim is just how important it is to him. But you know something? Kone Flex, he, he's got a lot of accomplishments himself. He was the first guy to become the first ever uh, Golden Opportunity Tournament in Rumble winner. They, no, there, there's the bell there's now. The bell. So none of that stuff should have been happening. But Kone Flex, the former junior heavyweight champion, tag team champion, RWC heavyweight champion, used to train over at the Ring of Honor Dojo. He's done it all himself. So they're both very equal. Back to back, Flex. Flex going for the cover there. Two. I've never seen Flex this fired up, honestly. I, to be honest with you, I don't even think Flex even cares about the match, per se. I think he just cares about getting his hands on Jim. But you got to give Flex credit. He loves his country. He loves fighting for his country. If it wasn't for guys like Cole named Flex, we want to be here doing what we're doing. So I thank him for that. But I can't believe I can't. Oh! I, I can't cheer for a guy that jumps a guy from behind like that. Oh! Nice like like I said, Jim. you know, being, being military myself, I, I, I understand the tactic. Jim Stone going for the cover there. You, you, you got you got to sneak in when 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 they're not looking. So I mean I get it, I get it. But that's 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 not honorable. You know what's what's crazy is, Kone Flex is the reason why Jim Stone is in the business. We can't forget about that. He's the one that brought him into the business. And I think a part of Flex is a little bit jealous of all the stuff that Jim has accomplished in his, in his short uh, five year career. It definitely is an incident. It's definitely an example of the uh, students surpassing the teacher. Oh, Ooh, big, big sign. Oh. Let me ask you guys a question. Did you guys ever have to face your friends or family when you were on the gridiron? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I did. All the time. Actually, all the time. Um, my brother was on the varsity team, and I remember going to, when JV had to go against varsity and me, and me versus my brother. But 
turned around and started playing playing on the same team the next year. But did it cause problems at the house? Did you of guys course. Have, did it cause issues at home? Of course. Parents have to separate y'all. I mean, was it was hard for your mom and they had to cheer for one another. I mean, how does that happen? I, I was always the underdog. I'm always the underdog. Everywhere I go, I'm Both the underdog. Big suplex here. Fisherman suplex. Yes, he got him. Nice bridge. Look at that bridge by Jim. But he could not have to hold down. What about you, Titan? Did you ever have to go against your brothers or your cousins or I mean, like on, on the opposite teams? And so funny enough, I actually had a guy that um, I played football with. We started playing football together when we were eight years old. We played all the way from eight to 12 years old. And then uh, we ended up at rival high schools and played against each other. And then we actually ended up at rival colleges in the same conference and had to play against each other. So both of you guys have been on the opposite teams of, of friends and family. So what do you think is going through the minds of one Cody Flex here, being betrayed by the guy that he bought into the business and a guy that he's always looked at as a brother in Jimstown? I think there's just, I think Jim has shown his true colors in this. There's just so much bad blood between the two of them now that I think Flex is, is, is just now got, red, he's got red, oh, almost. I think Flex has red in his eyes and now he just wants, he just wants revenge. I, I agree with you. I agree with you on that. I think uh, Flex definitely has red in his eyes. I think he's. I think he's actually. I think he's just quite jealous. I think he's jealous of Jim Stone. I think he's jealous of all the accolades. This could have been me. The, that whole scenario. That was a nice clothesline for Jim Stone. But you got to think though. You know, Corne Flex had a hand holding on front of the cover here. Is Jim. You know, Corne Flex had a hand in training Jim. There's no denying it. But do you think that a part of Jim, I mean, I'm not a part of Jim, excuse me. Do you think that, well, yeah, yeah, a part of Jim. You know, when you had a guy like Flex help train you, you know, wouldn't you feel like, you know, in Flex's mind, hey, if Jim wins, I'm winning. It's not really a competition thing, right? It's always a competition yeah. between friends. Uh, Especially this, in this business, yeah, it's, it's a singles, it's a singles com, you know, competition. Jim Stone. Might be going for a German here, it looks like. So this is a single competitor sport. At the end of the day, you may be a tag team, but it... Yes, he got it. And, a nice and another bridge. bridge. Yeah, another bridge. I tell you what, these two men, uh, they've gone to war before, but I've never seen them like this. Oh, I can tell you this. Whoever, whoever loses this match, they're not... I have a hard feeling they're walking out of here. They're not walking out of here. They're putting it all on the line. Mm -hmm. You know, these guys did battle a couple of years ago. Codename Flex, like I said, won the first ever Golden Opportunity Rumble in 2020. Gemstone at that time was the champion. Uh, These men met at the anniversary show a few months later, and Gemstone was the one that walked out, still the champion. You think? Do you think Flex still? You think Flex maybe sometimes still has that night played his head over and over again? Absolutely. With a loss like that, a title shot too. Yeah, but three years later, you're, you're still bothered by it. You, you, you almost taste. It's like you're you're right there at the end at the table, and you're getting ready to touch the cherry pie, and your mama slaps your hand and says, "You better wait your turn until I give you a piece." You are right. You are right. There's just some things you don't forget. Jim, though, so he is taking it to me. look at Schlesser's chest. It is bright red. You know, it was right here in this building two months ago. These guys lost the RWC Tag Team Championships in Russell. Because of Flex. Yep. Well, Flex I wouldn't say because of Flex. Well, you know, Flex did take the pin. Ah. Yeah, that Flex's mean. fault. His, his shoulders is on the ground. Yes, he, does. he took the pin. Yes, it's Flex's does. fault. No. Who wants to get the tag team match? Yeah. He said no. It's not an I team, but it's a Absolutely. I'll say this. I don't know how they lost the wrestlers. Uh, they did. Absolutely. Well, we were more established. We were more accomplished. You know, we worked together. But these guys, they had one miscommunication, and they let it all go. They just, they just lost it all. Look at Flex. Oh, Flex is fired up. Let me ask you this question. Who do you think this victory means more for Flex or Jim? Oh, Flex. Oh, I'm not going to lie to you. Flex. It's Flex. So what, does it, so what does this mean for Jim? Do you think he just finally puts the nail in the coffin and, just, and confirms what he's been saying that Flex has been holding back this whole time? I feel like, you know, if, if Jim Stone wins this match, you know, he proves once again that he can beat Flex. If Flex wins, he proves he can beat Jim. But I can tell you right now, if Flex beat Jim, Jim is not going to stop. Oh, oh that's no! Fair. That's just Jim Spike! That's not nothing to do that Jim does! Oh. I, I, I am utter. I am in utterly shocked right now. I can tell you that if Flex beats Jim, Jim is not gonna stop until he beats Flex and he gets rid of Flex once and for all. So you think if Flex wins today, this ain't over? 
No, I don't think so, not at all. Absolutely not. You think you think Jim's gonna let that go? I thought that was the whole point of this match was to finally finish this. Spike. Now there's that gym spike. And, and did you hear the impact on that gym spike? He's got to have a broken rib. Two, yeah. I'm telling you guys, I, 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 I picked Jim, but I might have to switch over to Flex. Flex, I, I think I think Flex wants this more. Look at Jim. Look, Jim looks confused. Like, he doesn't know I'll say, what I, just happened. I don't think the ref can count. That should have been three. Well, you know, I've had my issues with this referee over the past several months. Here. I know. Speaking of, he was the same referee when I beat you for the RWC Junior, weight heavy, junior Heavyweight title. Well, you know, we ended up, me and this referee, we've had some issues over the past several months, but, you know, I would really hope he's not picking favorites in this match like he's been picking favorites in my matches. I know. You're the favorite sometimes. You make but anyway. Four. I don't think Flex knows where he's at. I think he's confused. He's dazed. Well, you know, that he, that he took that gym spike. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, he ate it. I don't know if he's got anything left in him. Jay said he might have broke a rib. I, I, I have to agree, man. There's no way that midsection. Give it to him, out. Jim. Show him why you're the diamond in the ring. Oh, no. Flex moves. Jim, east the, east the corner. Turnbuckle. And here we go. And here comes Flex. Oh, here we go. Little jabs. Oh, and a big punch. Did you hear that? Oh my god. Ready, aim, fire. Go for the cut. One, two, no. What a match. This is this what is a match. Definitely a slaughter. Did you guys expect it to be like this? I did not. I did not. I, I knew it was gonna I, did. I'm not gonna I knew it was gonna be good, but not like this. has his sister here tonight. Jim has his mother here tonight. The police academy's here. Flex has got some money from his sister's army reserves here. Flex going to the top rope. He's coming, he's coming. Here it comes. Oh, oh. double axe handle. Look at that, he got a, he's going for a Cobra Clutch, he's got him. Oh. He's got it. He's got the Cobra I don't think Clutch. He, I don't think he's got it all the way locked in. He's got the Cobra, what's, look at oh. what's he doing here? Jim with that, uh, Jim could be fading. Uh, oh, 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 no. oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Both men hit really, really hard. On the outside, oh my gosh. You know, I, I really hope this match doesn't end in a count out. Because then that's definitely not gonna solve anything. It's not gonna end anything, not. it's not. I need, I, need, I need you guys to get back. I need, we need to see a winner. We need to see a winner. We need to see somebody pin someone's shoulders to the mat say, or make somebody give up. Both, as, I, both of them be disappointed if it ended like this. As, oh. as John Witherspoon said in Friday. Well, guys, host up to six. As John guys, Witherspoon said in Friday. Come on, Craig. Get up, blows. Craig. Oh, oh, no, no, no. A double oh, no. super kick. Oh, no, guys. I cannot believe what guys. I just saw. It's, a good, it's happening. Uh -oh. No, uh -oh. no, no, no. Not like this. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. A oh, don't let double go. count no. out. Oh, this, no, not this like cannot this. end like this. Not like this. No, come on. It cannot you end like this. This matchup has ended in a no contest. No, oh. come on. That's it can't crazy. End. It's not really going to end this way, is it, guys? Uh oh. Again! Look! Look at this! Look at this! This is ridiculous! Like we said, this isn't going to solve anything. There's still all this animosity between the two of them. And look at this! Hostman trying to call for help. These two guys are still fighting. You're going to need an army to get these guys separated. I know I don't want anything to do with it. I think they just need to let them duke it out. I don't get into foreign. I don't get in the foreign, foreign complications. Oh here. man! Look oh, at this. right into the oh. ring post. Jay, would this be four? Or because these two are local, would this be a well, domestic? Well, well, what I'm saying is it's foreign yep. to me because oh, I don't live okay. here anymore. I was about to say for these two, yep. this definitely. It looks like Josue is sending Trump to the back to get some help because we need these guys are still going at it. Here comes Trump. Here comes Trump. Here comes RJ. Go, go, go. 
Charles and Austin Hale. We got Justin Storm. GG Money's coming out. Looks like Jay, Jay Fox, he's getting up to go help. And Dex is coming out. I need BT to calm down right now. Tell you what, these guys, this is, this, it's gotta you be. You guys couldn't make it out here in 10, so we had to call it no contest. Calm down, soldier. August 5th in Lumberton, you two will be in a street fight. So oh. how about that? No rules at all, so you guys don't have to worry about that. Wow, a street fight. That, okay. That's going to end this thing. So let's get the guy to the back. Man, a street fight. A street fight. Hey, James, I, I'll say, I know you know a street fight if you've been in one. I've been in many hey, of street guess fights. Guess what? Those things don't end in count outs. No, they don't. There are no rules. Oh, and, and Jimstone Jim, is not happy. Jim's on, no, he, he's, he's, wow. Can you and imagine? It, well, that's not the way he wanted it to end, but no. it's going to have to end now because on August 5th, as you just heard, ladies and gentlemen, in Lumberton, North Carolina, at our 25th anniversary show, it will be 